Welcome to World Action and Reaction News, before starting today's news, my request to all dear friends please press like button if this information is useful for you and also hit the subscribe button along with bell icon for future news updates, let's start today's news. India and Pakistan have been involved in missiles development race for decades now. Both the countries are nuclear powers and have a range of ballistic missiles that can wreak havoc in the event of war. Time and again both countries have claimed that they are committed to peace and these weapons are merely for deterrence. India and Pakistan have several missiles that carry nuclear warheads. But the main focus of this article is on cruise missile technologies of India and Pakistan. Difference between cruise and ballistic missiles. Ballistic are launched on a suborbital flight trajectory and spend most of their flight out of the atmosphere. It travels well outside the atmosphere and then the warhead detaches and hurdles back to Earth. Cruise missile, on the other hand, are jet propelled pilot less aircraft designed to strike distant targets with great accuracy. They fly close to terrain, as compared to ballistic missiles and even speeds are much lower. India's well-known cruise missiles are Brahmos and Nirbhaya, while that of Pakistan is Babur or Hat-7 missile. Comparison between Babur and Nirbhaya Babur is a short-range, turbojet-powered ground-launch cruise missile whose development began in 1990s. With a launch weight around 1,500 kg, it is capable of carrying a 450 kg payload up to 700 km near is a long-range, subsonic cruise missile designed and developed in India by the Defence Research and Development Organisation. The missile has a range of more than 1,000 km, weighs about 1,500 kg and has a length of 6 m. The missile is powered by a solid rocket booster for takeoff, which is developed by Advanced Systems Laboratory, ASL. Both Babur and Nirbhaya can carry nuclear as well as conventional warheads. When it comes to accuracy of striking targets, Nirbhaya has a clear upper hand. The circular error probability, SEP, of Nirbhaya is as low as 1-2m as compared to 10m of Babur. Nirbhaya can be launched from all three platforms, ground, air, and water. In case of Babur, the known launch vehicles have all been mobile, land-based platforms. Although Pakistan claims that a, that a submarine version of Babur was tested successful, Indian Navy has refuted such a claim. Babur's stealth capability, when compared to Nirbhaya, is also questionable. When it comes to terrain hugging capability, Nirbhaya can fly as low as 5 mts from surface and can circle over the target so as to strike with great precision. Nirbhaya can also be mounted so 30 mki and launched from air whereas same cannot be said about Babur. Babur does not have Air Force version because of smaller range and heavy weight. Nirbhaya has had problems in the past, many of the tests of Nirbhaya in the past have failed or have been partially successful. The first completely successful test of Nirbhaya came only in November this year. The subsonic missile, designed to carry a 300 kg nuclear warhead, had failed during its first test in March 2013. Though the second test in October 2014 was a partial success, the third and fourth tests in October 2015 and December 2016 also flopped, leading to talk that the project may have to be scrapped. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this news. Please share your views in comment box. Please like and share this video. Press subscribe button and bell for auto update to you regarding my channel world action and reaction news, warn.